Hello everyone, Laguna here with a video about the Osiris League because yes guys, we are finally in the playoffs the group stage are out, they are insane we can place our bets and that's like so thrilling because I am a gambler, I am a gambler guys don't get addicted, but it's fun, you know, it's fun and uh, I'm simply gonna tell you which teams I believe gonna win the next matches which teams I believe gonna go through the group stage which teams you should bet on so let's go and see together the groups. I will quickly, quickly watch the schedule, like very quickly of the groups. Then instead of telling from here which teams I believe gonna win, I'm gonna go on the bet page, okay? On the betting page. So let's start from group A. I will call this the group of death, not just because my alliance is here, but because there are four amazing teams. It's in my opinion, the hardest group, really. Because you have four teams that are all very strong and no match is granted. There is not like a sure winner. Actually, all groups are, are good. All groups have, have uh, uh, very good alliances. And because like, uh, like we said before, this season two is much more competitive, but this group is gonna be super, super close. It's hard to predict. It's hard to predict who's gonna pass through, in my opinion. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? We can start from Misfits Lion Division. Misfits Lion Division. It's the main alliance of Kingdom 93, probably the strongest kingdom in the game. They weren't so amazing in the past in the arc, but they improved a lot. They are much more coordinated and smoother now. They have all the commanders. They have incredible players. They are definitely a strong team. We have my alliance. I'm not going to say if we're strong or not. I don't think it's needed. Then we have JVM2. <laughs> and JVM2, yeah, it's the second alliance of Kingdom. It's the second group of Kingdom 59. But guys, you have to, you have to understand how stacking Kingdom 59 uh, is. If you, if you check the commanders of these players, like, I mean, they will, they will be in the vanguard in 99% of the teams in these playoffs, just to give you an idea. And it's just about commanders. They are very good players, very experienced. They are only uh, cons point. The only weak point, I would say, is that they, they haven't played together for a long time. But Let's be honest, guys. This game is not hard. It's not a hard game. It doesn't require a genius to play the arc. As long as you have, as long as you have people with brain and you have good leader that can um, guide these players and uh, you know being good in leading live, uh, then it doesn't require much. And I've seen these guys playing like every match. Every match they do, they improve by a by a, by a huge leap. Every match they make, there's a huge leap. So this team is in, is evolving right now. Every week they become so much stronger and they are really super strong. So this is an amazing team. Then we have Royals. This alliance was the alliance that imp impressed everyone the last season because they were T4 players, mm, not super great commanders. And nonetheless, they were able to advance to the playoffs. They lost against us, but, but just by 1000 and we had stronger troops, stronger commanders. So this is a team, like I said in my old videos on prediction that I believe is top eight yeah guys i know the power is low but i still believe this is a top eight team in the league and uh, they are definitely amazing so every match is crazy good thing that i see is that jvm2 and, and royals gonna play at 13 utc so i'm gonna be able to watch this match i will record this match i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm gonna post it because you know conflict of interest i'm gonna watch it because i'm gonna play against the two alliances i wanna see how they play properly against when there is a proper competition but i'm not sure if i'm gonna post it huh Anyway, definitely a, watch to, a match to watch at 13 UTC. Definitely. Definitely. Then we have Group B, MB2, Phoenix, Son of Destruction, and 6 Gen, TX46. Another solid group, but uh, I, I see at least one uh, alliance that will go through for sure from this group. And that alliance is MB2. I'm not going to say the other. I'm going to wait for the bets, but yeah. Group C, we have JVM and uh, Bob's Lifestyle. Uh, they changed the name, nice. Michelle. <laughs> a woman with a sense of humor, I like it. And uh, then we have Azuras and Art of War. Art of War are still good, but they are not the same anymore. Azuras are good, but honestly, these two teams are in my top four alliances of the league. If I have to pick the best four alliances, these two teams are in the top four, for sure. So uh, I just gotta say, like these two teams are gonna are gonna win and pass through the the group stage. It's very interesting because they are the first to play against each other. So yeah, this is amazing. But before telling you who I believe is gonna win between these two teams, I have to see the best. 
Group D. Group D is a solid, solid team, solid group. Uh, Vrata Fizin, they impressed everyone. And Alter Crow as well. It's one of the few uh, predictions that I made wrong. They, uh, I thought they would lose before, but they played very good and they won. They have Punisher, the Alliance of Roni, and the Avengers. Very good alliances as well. But I believe that Punisher are gonna pass through this group. From the other, other three, I will tell later. So yeah, this match, I believe Punisher is gonna win. And it's a good thing because it's 19 UTC, so I'm gonna watch this match for sure and record for sure. Group E, we have VBT8, V163, Necessary Evil, and Titans of 79. Okay, in this group, I will say uh, an alliance that I 100% sure will not pass through. I'm sorry to say this because I have a lot of friends there and, and connection there and and I see a future with these players some way. But I have to say that BBTH, in my opinion, are not going to pass through. I'm going to say later which of the three teams will pass, but this team, I don't think they will pass. I think Titans of 79 are gonna beat uh, BBT8 in this match. Group F, we have uh, Rising Phoenix, Old Legends Gaming, and Night King. We have Hong Kong Legends. We have Kingdom uh, Tigers and Golden Throne. In this uh, group, I would say Hong Kong Legends and Rising Phoenix to pass. Between Rising Phoenix and Hong Kong Legends, very close. I want to see the bet before saying who's gonna win. And the reason I say this is because like Kingdom Tigers improved a lot, they have better commanders, they have better teamwork, Golden Throne, they are good as well, but these two alliances are too strong. They are ma the main alliances of each kingdom, they are very focused on the arc, they train it a lot, and I don't see how these two teams will lose, will lose this, uh, from this group. We have Group G then, Smash Quad, uh, Chisgule, Abe, Groggy, uh, Nathan, and many others. A lot of uh, mates there. A lot of amazing players, but you know, I don't like to say this, but I have to be honest, I have to say what I believe. I watched the match and I wasn't impressed at all. It could be that maybe they tried backups, it could be that key players weren't available, it also could be that maybe they even tried hard because it was an easy match for them. It could be, but from what I saw, I wasn't so impressed. So if be before I say that this team, in my opinion, would have gone easily to the knockout stage right now, I'm not so sure, even if the group is not the hardest in the world. But still, I'm not so sure about them. Then we have C9N, Chinese Alliance, very tight group. They played a lot together and uh, they are uh, a team that is the first team that I would say is going to pass through the group, G, the group G. Then you have Hall of Fame and Frozen Empire. Hall of Fame are good. But I don't think they have the possibility to go to to go through. And Frozen Empire, unfortunately, Frozen Empire doesn't have so many good commanders. They have the Garrison commanders. They have some really commanders, but they don't have so many great commanders. You see a lot of Apex in their match. You actually see a lot of Apex in my match. I use Apex as well. Two of my masters have Apex commanders inside of it. Okay, but <clears throat> they don't have so many people with so great, so great commanders. They play amazing. The match was incredibly. They they were so coordinated. Everything was on point. Uh, but the lack of commanders plays against them. So, like, from what I've seen, the Frozen Empire, for example, play better than Smash Quad. But Smash Quad have so many great commanders. So even if, from what I saw, they play a little worse, I would say that the commanders they equip uh, will give them a little bit of the advantage of us. You know. But before saying my bet and saying who I believe is going to win this match, I'm going to watch the bet. L and finally, we have Group H. Group H, we have Rose. We have UCS, OV, and Zero. Now, I will be fast. OV Overlord are gonna for sure pass through the gr this group. They're gonna win for sure against UCS, and I think UCS are not gonna pass through Group H. Sorry, Punyamo, sorry, Omi, but that's what I think. And between Zero and Rose, I have I wanna see the bet. So these are the groups for Realm of Horus. A lot of amazing match action. You don't know what's going to happen. Very, very nice. Now we can go and watch the bets together. Events. Let's start by the event that gives you the coins to bet. Okay. So these are the daily quests that you can do every day. And then you have the weekly quest where you can do one time a week. 
and you get the coins here as well and also you get this mark of champions and i will let you see soon what they're used for let's go to the eye for talent the eye for talent is an event where you bet the marks of champions it's not like the league bets where you bet every match here you just decide which alliance you believe gonna uh, win these are the stuff that you get in the shop the most important things are the five golden sculptures and the material chest pretty good pretty good and you can get this mark of champions by the weekly quest and from the bundle that i will let you see but i cannot buy it because on this device i cannot buy i need to, sw to swap device you get two marks from one bundle and i suppose uh, <coughs> you're gonna get this bundle for every group i think now let's go to the to the to the juicy thing the league bets where you can bet on every match i see something new rankings or maybe there was i didn't remember i don't remember to be honest you can see Bear Kingdom and Realm, uh, the best betters. That's, that's, that's fun. We have 110 coins we, that we can use to bet. Let's see the shop, what you get. You get <coughs> five golden uh, sculptures here as well. You have some blueprints, keys, the level two speed ups, the action point recovery. So the best, the most important things here are the legendary sculptures and the action points in my opinion. <coughs> yeah, no, not, not so much but good you know five here five there so now we can we can bet guys now we can finally bet first match here the one with more bets we have c9 and against off alliance of my mate can i say that c9 and are gonna for sure pass through the group stage so i would say that this alliance is gonna win for sure against this team the thing is that the price pool is so different you know like if you bet on these guys you don't win but you bet on this you can win you can win pretty much you can win you can win some coins you know so you could do a very low bet on, on off but before doing it i'm gonna go through the others now we have jvm2 and royals and this uh, this is this is uh, this is very 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 interesting they are so strong they are so coordinated uh, amazing teamwork and uh, i would say it's a close match i would say it's a flip coin match that's my opinion they have the better commanders if one too but i believe royals have better teamwork because they've been they've been playing together for so long time whereas if one too made the team made the team like i think maybe a, maybe two weeks before the series league i mean they haven't had the chance to try that much so uh, between these two teams uh, <coughs> despite being a, a close match i will bet on royals a bit of coins because of the price pool so i will bet wow i cannot cannot type okay this this irritates me i will bet 20 coins on royals we have uh, vietnam against necessary evil and uh, i feel like uh, this is another 50 50 match and it's 50 50 with uh, uh, the same amount pretty much of price pool mm, so not really a match that is worth to, to bet on um I will give this slightly advantage to Vietnam factor because of their experience, but uh, it's like 51 49 in my opinion. Then we have zero against Rose. Zero against Rose, uh, people are betting on zero because they've proven to be good. Uh, they have more commanders and everything, that's true, but it's not so, so, so sure. I will not bet on this match. Because the price pool, yeah, you will win more if you bet on those, but not so much to make me bet on them. I would say 60-40 for zero. OCS OV, yeah, the price pool here is, uh, there's a huge difference. Actually, I, I, I expected to be more. I expected like the red to be up until here. This is a match to don't bet because OV is going to win for sure. But <coughs> what, what do you win if you bet on these guys? Like, what do you win? It's, it's not worth you have azuras against ncb i think i think uh, azuras are gonna surprise and win this match so you could bet a little bit on azuras but nothing extraordinary and this match <laughs> uh, this is the alliance that i, I call it to be top eight they didn't impress at me i said why they weren't so coordinated and everything the reason could be they didn't try it out they lacked uh, important players they tried backups whatever reason they didn't impress me and this alliance on the other hand impressed me even if they lack commanders <coughs> i would still 
believe that these guys will win but considering the difference the huge difference in the price pool i'm gonna bet on slo few coins nameless i trust you mate oh my god i, I trust you so much that i call it i click it on cancel instead of confirm then we have uh 166 against nc mm -mm -mm. Uh, damn angel is a fellow archer lover he loves archers like i do P -p 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 let, let me let me watch this match after let me watch this match i think it's 50 50 so the, the odds may will make me make a little little bet on a on nc but just because of the bet just because of the odds you know only because of the odds not because i believe uh nc are stronger we have my match mfd against dsp my alliance and i think uh i think the odds are fair i think we are slightly stronger but not that much so i think the odds are respecting our teams i really believe i think we are stronger than them but not by much i think it's gonna be a very close match but of course you know guys it's my match so i have to bet you know i have to bet no i cannot bet uh, yeah i have more so i can bet no no they changed the rules oh my god you cannot bet anymore on your own team no this is this sucks i mean it makes sense from one one point of view that you cannot bet on your own match because like people could throw there is this panic of people throw which doesn't make any sense because what you throw for like you don't win you can easily get all the things that you want from this shop anyway and the extra coins they give you like one food they give you they give you nothing they give you what one thousand they give you really nothing it's ridiculous what they give you with the extra coins so there is no first of all it's very despicable but even if let's say you don't care you don't it's not there is no point to throw a match you know but it makes sense that they don't allow to bet on the match you're playing it makes makes sense i'm disappointed but it makes sense this match i would say dsp is gonna win we have mb2 against x46 oh my god wow wow and sorry mb2 uh, is gonna be these odds my opinion are completely off so I, I will bet i will bet everything i will go all in on mb2 i'm gonna go all in on mb2 like uh also i know that i have yeah i have five more but i will bet everything on this match honestly uh, i, I want to see the others but uh, this is a match to bet mb2 believe me guys uh, uh, they they're gonna win or anyway let's say they it's it's a, let's say it's close match i think mb2 is gonna win i think they are strong yeah but even if they are not and it's 50 50 of chances the odds are, are wrong are, are completely wrong for sure the odds don't respect the power of the the, the, the capability of these two alliances that's for sure 89 px against sod well i think also in this situation the odds are not fair i think sod will deserve a little bit more of fate but phoenix are stronger yes oh wow this is another match that uh, is worth to bet this is another match that is worth to bet in my opinion yes i'm gonna bet on tx79 Be uh, i played against bpth they are not that great in the arc i'm sorry guys I'm, i just have to be honest i just have to tell what i believe and considering the odds this is a match that is worth to bet for titan of 79 So we have uh, Rise, Rising Phoenix against Hong Kong Legends. Hong Kong Legends are given as favorites. And uh, I have to say, if I would have a friends in both alliances, Night King is my close mate. It's hard for me to tell what I think. I think Hong Kong Legends are a little bit better than Rising Phoenix from what I've been able to see from the last match that I've been able to see of course it's been some time so they could have improved they for sure improved <coughs> but I think Uncle Legends are a little better not as the odds say <coughs> okay so if you are if you go with the mentality of a gambler you will have to put something on Rising Phoenix but from the match itself I think 51-49 for, uh, for Uncle Legends that's what I believe and they will both pass through the uh, group stage, by the way. So, 
These two teams, they will pass through their group. That's what I think. We have Kingdom uh, Tigers against uh, Golden Throne. <coughs> I, th I think these odds are fair. I think Kingdom Tigers is going to win. I think they are stronger, but not so much stronger. So I think this is a fair match. <coughs> we have JVM against Sibo Alliance. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. JVM for me are the strongest alliance in, in, the, in the league. I've said the last time they lost against OV. Great job to OV. I still believe JVM didn't play at their best in the final match. And like, I, I don't know, they are so strong. They, they have everything. They have incredible teamwork, amazing players, amazing commanders. Every single player of them is stuck with the commanders. Now with the update, also the equipment will count in the arc, which is another huge boost for their players because they have a lot of big whales that have incredible, amazing equip. So it's a huge boost for them as well, the equip update, you know, since the equip will, will count now in the arc. So for me, they are the favorites not to win this match, but to win the whole league. Having said this, Having said this, I have to think as a gambler. I think JVM is stronger, but I think the match is not like this. These odds are not fair. Okay? So for this reason, betting something on the Cebo Alliance, which I still think, like I said, it's a top four alliance in the league. Okay? I'm not saying they are, they are a top four or top three alliance in the league, in my opinion. They are amazing. It's just that they are against JVM. Anyway, considering the odds, I have to bet something on uh, on lifestyle. I have to do it. Otherwise, I mean, I will give you a bet. Betting on JVM doesn't make any sense. Like, if you bet on them, then you don't win anything. And yeah, they are favorites. They have better odds to win. But it's not like 90% to 10. So you have to bet. Like, this is a match where you have to bet on, on, on Cibo Alliance and Michelle Alliance and Immortal of a Style, Boobs Lifestyle, whatever. You have to bet on them. You have Maybe let's m let me put 20 because I want to see if there are other matches. Okay, there, okay, there's one more. P245 against Avengers. I think uh, uh, Punisher gonna win, but I don't think the odds are fair. I think the match will be closer than what than what the odds will say. So from a betting point of view, a slow bet on Avenger will make sense. I'm not gonna do it, <coughs> but it will make sense. So I think P245 are gonna win. Now let's go uh, a little bit back. Uh, this, this, I would say Phoenix is gonna win this match. Sort of stronger than what the odds say, but mm, no, no, no point to bet here, no point to bet here. No point to bet here. This will be another match where you can bet. This will be another match where you can bet. Unfortunately, I think that Zero have more chances to win. Mm. The, this match is not is not easy to see. I think it's a 60-40 match. And if you see the odds, if you believe it's 60-40 match, you bet on Rose. Because you win much more. But... Uh, there are matches that make me bet much more, honestly, so far. Yeah, definitely. You know what? I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, ten more coins on these guys. I believe this team is stronger. Okay, remember, guys. I wanna say it once, once more. I don't wanna, I don't want you to say to me, ah, you say that they're gonna win. They will strong. I'm not saying they are stronger. I think this team has I got a chance to win. Okay, I will say this team is stronger and. Not stronger, yeah, they have better commanders, so I would say they have more chances to win, but not like the odds say. With these odds, you have to bet on them, SNO. You have to bet on them. And these two other two matches where you can make some money. I already bet a lot here. So let me raise from 10 point, from 10 coins here. Uh, you know what? Let's go crazy. <laughs> 10 more here. Black feeder, don't don't hate me, man. It's just gambling. I have to do it. <laughs> uh, these odds are so good, but I don't see off winning. I just don't see it. And ten more on Royals. This is a match. Uh, yeah, 
four times, four point five times more. So yeah. So these are my odds, guys. These are my odds. In this situation, I think it's 50-50. So bet on these guys. In this situation, I think this team is stronger, but the odds will make me bet on these guys. In this uh, uh, bet, MB2, in my opinion, is stronger, and you also win more, so this is like easy match. In this match as well, the Titan, uh, Titans of 79 for me are stronger, and you also win more, so bet on them. <coughs> I will bet, like honestly, I'm betting on more teams because you know I'm 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 doing the recording. I want to show, but normally I will just bet. I will just just bet everything on MB2 and, and Titan of 79. That's what I would have done. So let's go back to the schedule, and I'm gonna tell you for the things that I know now, which teams I think gonna pass through uh, the group stage. My alliance gonna pass through, and I will start from my group. And my alliance will pass through the group stage. I'm confident of it. Between this, between these three alliances, I'm not sure yet. I will say it in the next match. After the next match, I'm gonna watch these alliances playing, and I will be able to tell you which team I think is gonna pass through with us. From this group, I believe MB2 gonna go through for sure. And then between between these three alliances, like in this case, I need to see them playing at this level because I had the chance to see them playing. But they were all matches where one team was so much stronger than the other. Sod played against LG2, but LG2 is not on the level of these teams. Okay, <clears throat> so I want to see them play, and then I will tell you the other team that with MB2 gonna pass through the group B. Group C easy. Uh, JVM and Boops Lifestyle and Boops Lifestyle are gonna go through the group C. I'm sure of it. Group D, I will say Punisher, and between these three alliances, I have to see them playing. Group E, I will say BBTH are not gonna pass through. And between these three alliances, I wanna see them playing, and then I will tell you which team uh, are gonna pass through. But I will say Vietnam is one of them. Group F, I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive Hong Kong Legends and Rising Phoenix will go through the group F. Group G, group G, I will say C, 9, N, and between these three alliances, I want to I wanna see them playing. <laughs> like if Smash Squad win by a lot again, these alliances, or win by a decent amount, then they're going to pass through with C, 9, N. That's what I believe. And in the end, group H, <laughs> it's going to be Overlord for sure. And then between zero or loss, one of these two alliances is gonna win. So whoever wins this match is gonna go through the group H alongside OV. Guys, a lot of amazing matches. I'm so excited. This is just Realm of Horus. I'm thinking to do also a video on the Realm of Anubis. The problem is like I don't know the alliances. It's the same thing that I told the last time. I just know three or four alliances. So what I'm gonna do is Instead of predicting the matches now, which will be pointless because I don't have the knowledge to do it, I will just very shortly say who is I'm sure gonna pass because I know them. And is NTB, they're gonna go through for sure. Riot and Squad, they are gonna go for sure through. And uh, FN for sure. These are the alliances that I know, and I'm positive they will win. M Marvel Revenge for sure. MBR one for sure. And uh, League for sure, and uh, 411k for sure. These are alliances that I know, and I'm a hand because I know players in these alliances, players that moved from Old Kingdoms to the New Realm, and they're gonna go through for sure. But the others, I don't know. So, before saying that, I'm gonna watch some of these people playing in the next match, in the next week, I'm gonna uh, record the, these matches, so I'm gonna be able to watch them later, and then I will make a video on this uh, realm as well. But, you know, guys, I'm super, super excited. I can't wait, I can't wait to be the next week. I would like to skip forward to the next week. But that's it, guys. If you don't agree with my bets, with my prediction, write in the comments, we can discuss. Tell me which things you agree on, with which things you don't agree with. And that's it. As usual, if you enjoyed, like, share and subscribe and see you soon with another video on Rise of Kingdoms.